ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks, trim with black and gold, weighing in at 17 stone, 7 pounds, with a perfect professional record, 10 contests, 10 wins, all inside the scheduled distance. He is the two-time ABA champion, an Olympic gold medalist. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a member of the British Empire from Watford, England. In the heavyweight division, timekeeper Stuart Lithgow, referee Victor. Okay, gents, you've had your instructions in the rest room. Remember, hey, commands at all time, defend yourselves at all time. God bless, touch them. Let's do it. Gentlemen, couldn't look at Anthony Joshua at the way in yesterday afternoon. He couldn't do it there either. What a way to bring up your heart around the ring as well. And maybe that's why the bookies are saying there's a very good chance this because we saw Gavin on the uh, Brook Porter undercard last summer. He went four rounds, very one-sided rounds, it has to be said, before he retired on his Gavin story. in the build-up to this one. He rates Joshua almost as much as everybody else does. He says of all the people he sparred, top three, and one of the two ahead of him is Vladimir Klitschko. See, I think it's a big problem. You know, I think he realizes what he's here for. So at least hopefully it'll we'll give it a go, not just try to survive for a round or two. Hopefully he'll get But uh, really, we cannot give him any chance here whatsoever. Well, he's just trying to survive, I think, spinning, turning, trying to keep that head protected and trying to keep distance. I mean, he does have the experience, you know, so he should be able to get close once or twice and let some of these swings go there. You know, just a slight frustration in the early stages of the round here. Oh, oh, solid straight left hand oh, just from there. By a Joshua standard, that punch had no boots. Yeah, that's a bit ominous. I mean, the first clean punch. It's got him bang on. He's taking his time. Here comes the right hands now. He'll start getting a little bit just closer. Turned his head and tried to do it again. And then forced to hold as well. That was a good right hand from Josh, I didn't land it. But how long can he keep it up for? Just slipping out of trouble again there. And you just know it's going to go off, you don't know when. And more to the point, everybody in this arena knows it's going to go off as well. And just to survive the opening section here. Because Joshua is zeroing in on him more damage as well. Yeah, Josh is using the upper, which is wise when they're with Gavin all over the place, just trying to duck, dive, and survive. Turns out round two. Anthony Joshua has four first round stoppages to his name. He has five second round stoppages. Is this going to be number six? The only man to go into the third round with him is the German, Konstantin Eirich. Again, Gavin. His reflexes get down round two. Anthony and Joshua has four first round stoppages to his name. He has five six. Second. The only man to go into the third round with him is the German Constant. Again, Gavin. His reflexes getting him out of trouble from that right hand. So it's the left that comes down to play yet again. And he's having a lot of success with the left here, Joshua. Good tall, heavy wheeler, Joshua. You want a good jab as you move up in levels, jab. And uh, Joshua certainly possesses that, and he's beginning to use it now. And Larry started talking to Joshua about the jab. Anthony did a lot of listening. Body work with the left hand. Then and that shot. was a good shot that, that got him to give him his due. He's taking his... And then he gets out of trouble again, looking for the body again. Doesn't appear to be troubling Joshua with anything. Oh, Misses time. Didn't miss time. One, two, three. Gavin is complaining. Six, well, he was hit round the back seven, of the head. He wasn't. It was eight, a shot. Eight. But how long can he do that for? I mean, it's also. And there's the big right hand. 
Gavin in big trouble. The left puts him down for the second. And he's a brave, proud man, Jason Gavin. He will try and beat this count if he can. Let this go on. Gavin saying yes, showing defiance. But the end is coming. They are on their feet for the last act. Surely one more solid shot will do it. Joshua zeroing in. That smile that's got an edge of malice. Well, I think the crowd want to gather there because he had an excuse to get himself out of it. To hear the bell. That in itself would be a big achievement. Oh, no, may not. Right on the bell there. Not going quietly, is it, Anthony Joshua? It's all been the big right hand bombs up till now. He comes out with that smile again, Joshua, into round three for only the second time. What I also like about Joshua, he's always mindful of his own defence. Even when he's completely in top, you know, he keeps his shape, he keeps his hands up, gets his punches out, brings them back. And here we come now. Gavin in trouble, down again, I think the right hand, and he landed a punch when he was on the floor there, and he needs a telling off for that. He's going to have to be careful. Right? Anthony Joshua, it's all been the big right hand bombs up till now. He comes out with that smile again. What I also like about Joshua, he's always mindful of his own to get his punches out, brings them back. And here we come now. Gavin in trouble, down again, I think the right hand, and he landed a punch when he was on the floor there. And he needs Whoa. a telling off for that. In the previous round, he landed a left hook after the bell sounded. He's going to have to be very careful. Stern lecture. That was a clear right hand landed when Gavin was on his knees. Probably envisages doing this job a lot more cleanly than he's been able to do. And down he goes Whoa. again, left hand again. Two. And Victor Lachlan's got to put an end to this. This is, this is getting ugly here, and it's way it's back. done. Anthony Joshua does it again. This time he was left hand happy. And it's to Gavin. And he's done it faster than Deontay Wilder managed. Impressive performance at times. Gavin made it a bit awkward, a bit frustrating. Oh, time. And I'm impressed by the fact that it was short punches that got short the jolting, jolting left hands and shoddy to the head. And there was no point. Probably Gavin the last knockdown, but what was the point? I think he'd more than earned his money. He warned to him the fact that he was getting himself off the floor and getting back into the fray. But another excellent performance. Gavin showing tremendous resistance. Another one of those right hands getting through. A few of them landed, but put him on the floor. Well, he was ready to go from that right, wasn't he? A couple of times, I mean, Gavin was down, was well on the floor when that punch landed, you know. He's going to really have to. His last good. fight, I think, Jim, that, and, and you know, he was asked about it afterwards, and he more or less just swatted it away with with a shrug. Twenty-one but. seconds of the third round. Your winner on a countout. He's still undefeated from Watford, England. AJ Anthony Joshua. Anthony, how did it feel to be back under the lights in front of this crowd? Brilliant. Unfortunately, I had a bit of ring rust, so I couldn't display everything that I've been doing in the gym. But once we get that momentum going, I'll be able to display some more sharp shooting. But what got me through as well, I've been Scotland, Manchester, Liverpool, London. I have to say Newcastle's right up there with the crowd. Thanks for all the support tonight as well. Were there weaknesses from your sparring session that you knew you could exploit? As I said, obviously, there's a lot of expectations. And Jason Gavin is a very awkward opponent, slippy customer. He's there to make me look bad, and I think he did a good job of that. At the end of the day, I've got a job to do, and that's get a win. Hopefully, if I can start pushing to British titles, European, step by step, these fights won't really mean nothing when I'm experienced and I'm a champion. In commentary.